Hey, this is Tim with Slingfin, and this is my friend Dan. And today, we're gonna to walk you through the setup of our portal two-person tent. Your portal comes with a tent body, a rain fly, two long poles connected with a swivel, one shorter cross pole, DAC J stakes, two kickstand vent struts, six extra guy lines, and a pole splint. First, select a campsite that's free of pointy rocks, sharp sticks, or anything that could potentially damage the floor of your portal. Then, lay out your portal tent body and stake in the four corners. Make sure to put your stakes in at a slight angle pointing away from the tent. Assemble the poles carefully, taking care not to let the pole sections snap together as this can damage the ends. Insert the pole ends into the grommets with the fly attachment hooks pointing away from the tent. Then, clip the tent body to the poles. Lay the short cross pole across the top of the intersection of the two long poles. Insert the far end of the cross pole into the webbing pocket opposite you. Then, bend the close end of the pole down until it can easily be inserted into the closer webbing pocket. To install the fly, first find the reflective starter tab on the bottom perimeter. This matches up with an identical tab on the tub floor sidewall at the wider end of the tent to make orienting the fly easy. Lay the fly out over the top of the tent. Attach the toggles on the underside of the top of the fly to the O-rings at the ends of the cross pole pockets. Starting at the top, attach the O-rings and toggles on the underside of the fly to the tent poles. Although the tent works without them, we recommend you do this every time you set up the tent for best weather protection and condensation management. It's especially important to do this in windy, rainy, or snowy conditions. Attach the corners of the fly to the fly attachment hooks by looping the cord around them and pulling up. Stake out the vestibules. Then, tension the corners of the fly. When condensation is a concern, install the kickstand vents by partially unzipping the upper zipper slider on the vestibule. Attach the kickstand vent strut to the upper set of Velcro patches on the vestibule and zipper flap. And you're all set. The portal works best when it's set up right, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions about the portal or any of our other tents, feel free to reach out to us at slingfin.com or give us a call anytime.